Hey, hey, everybody, hope you're doing well today. Well, this is a quick video to make a distinction between gross national income and net national income and understanding what they mean. It's pretty straightforward, quick video, here we go. Okay, gross national income does not take into account capital consumption, whereas the net national income does. Say what? Yeah, well, look it. All you really need to know is understand like what exactly does capital consumption mean. If you understand what capital consumption means, which I'm going to explain to you in a second, then you will understand what the difference is between gross national income and net national income. Here we go. Okay, depreciation or capital consumption. Think about the fact that as you think about you buy a bike in the beginning of the year, right? And and, and it has a certain value to it. And then throughout the year, you ride, ride your mountain bike, and you go up in mountains and all this stuff, and it breaks a little bit, you get it fixed, and it just basically wears out a little bit because you've used it. Well, throughout the year, you have consumed part of that thing, and it has therefore depreciated in value. So if you think about the bike as a really obvious and easy image in your mind, as you go through the year, the value of that bike is going to depreciate. So if you bought that bike at the beginning of the year and you count it as GNI, you would realize that at the end of the year, that GNI is inaccurate. You have to take into account the use of that bike if you're going to talk about the overall value of the bike. Because at the end of the year, to sell that mountain bike, you're going to get a lot less money, maybe even half, because it has depreciated, or a fancy econ way of talking about it, is that you have consumed its capital value, right? So in a national way, throughout the course of a year, a country's capital stock will lose some of its value. In other words, stuff gets used up. That makes sense. There's stuff that's new at the beginning of the year that's used at the end of the year, and you need to, economists like to account for that depreciation. So GNI, grass, gross national income, does not take into account the depreciation of capital, whereas net national income does. So net national income is simply gross national income minus the depreciation of those goods, or capital consumption. Equation, straightforward. And NI equals GNI minus the depreciation of those goods. Use the bike analogy. It works really well. At the end of the year, what the value of your bike is, after you've used it, is the NNI. At the beginning of the year, you could use GNI before you started using it. And if you get that, then you understand the difference between GNI and NNI. And you're rolling along, my friends. You're becoming great economists. All of these things matter. And congratulations on learning all about this world. Coolio, I hope this video was helpful. We'll talk to you in a bit.